the biggest yo-yo watch of all, I think, isn't it? That's yeah, I think I'd say it's a heavy hit watch. It's gone up, it's come down, it's gone back up again, it's come down again. So it's in a very similar trajectory to the Hulk, where the Hulk was going up in price. People think that it's going to get discontinued. Then it shot up when it got discontinued to like the 17s. Dropped off when the market got flooded down to like 13 and a half, 14 again. And then since then, steady trajectory all the way up to like the 19 grand. A last run 2020. I think the greens right now for a 23, you're talking low to mid 60s, and I feel like we'll just continue to creep up. Yeah, back up to the hundred mark. Green or blue, anything green or blue is definitely a good investable piece, and probably one of the nicest pieces that you can get from Rolex. The range, you know, anything green or blue.